What's up guys, Brad Bart with another video. Today, Huddersfield Town is Nottingham Forest. We are at home. Ugh, I, don't, don't, I don't really know how it's going to go. If you want to check out my thoughts, score prediction, all that sort of stuff, click the video before this one, on my upwards, uh, newest one anyway. So, Forest are a good team. They did get absolutely hammered by Sheffield Wednesday at their own ground uh, last weekend, uh, where we drew with Wigan, but I don't think Forest are the sort of team to go to do so well and then go on a bad run of form like this. So I think yeah. they're going to bounce straight back. I'm not going to lie to you. So that's why I've gone for what I've gone for in my match preview, my score prediction. I don't think it's going to be an easy game today. I think there's going to be a lot of goals. Um, hence why I went with my spot, um, what score prediction I went with. But yeah, um, hopefully we're going to have a great atmosphere today. Uh, good game, a lot of goals. Hopefully we can get a result. As I say, a draw today would be good, a win today would be unreal against a team like Forest. I think I read somewhere as well that we've got the worst home record in the league and they've got the best away record, so that really fills me with confidence. So, yeah, come on town, let's get something today. Start, we're getting the ball forward, having half chances. Not a bad start at all, Tom. Hopefully, it continues. In the, the ball's been in the middle of the pitch for the past 10 minutes, not really been either side having much chances, not really. Oh my god! 
Taking a corner now. I think we're two in the so it's clear I'm not making an excuse when I say that the ref has been absolutely tragic. Forrest could have had the player sent off earlier, gave him a yellow. Sheila Bar's done a relatively normal tackle, not stopping a goal scoring opportunity, no danger to the player. Yellow card. What is that all about? As I say, that like, Gabara catches the free kick, so. It's a yogi shake, he's handling. I um, can't complain. Grant's got it on the wing. Oh, just over the bar. Oh, that was a good chance to get the third. Forrest could have had another man sent off. Was it sent off? No, we'll just give me yellow. <laughs> same old, same old. Got a corner. God, we've had so many chances here. After about five balls in, with the ball being offside, it's gone, it's offside. You can hear the chance now. Fucking shit. <laughs> I didn't think we'd be calling Adam Forrest fucking shit today, I'm gonna be honest with you. I gave you my heart for the very next day. Come in, Mona, but now they've got one, there's no reason why they can't get two. Defensively, we are shocking. When the last time we kept a clean sheet? At home, at home. Oh, yeah, pyrotechnics. At least they're in your own end, I couldn't give a shit. It's not, it's not on though, this like, I'm delighted that we're winning man, but fuck me, what's the point in going ahead if you're not going to hold on to it? That, that's me, I might be being a negative, but I just don't want to see us bottle this again. How many wins have we bottled at home that's turned into draws this season, please? I just feel two, not in the first one. This, these three points would mean the world to us, if we bottle this, I'd be so good. Please, oh please, please just hold us to sleep. Please, town, I'm begging you. I'm genuinely begging you. It's not Dan Carby, it's Jaden Brown, our left back, who's just come back, fully fit from his, um, from his injury, so that means Hadjan Al got wide now, and Jaden Brown will be the left back. Crucial to have for Jaden back.
Well, I think I'm losing my voice after all, but allow me being negative for the one moment there was the thing. But we've we've gone ahead so many times and drawn after that that it was just too much to count. So I thought there were a chance that we could have bowled that, but no, three points of the table against Forest. Two two losses in a row, I think it's for them. Oh, the silent, they can't say, oh, that was not good for them. And the goal came out of nothing, pretty much, as did our first one, but they should have been more clinical with the few chances they had today. Safe trip home to all the fans that came. They were pretty loud, and they brought a fair few from, up from Nottingham, so hope you have a safe trip home. All the best for the rest of the season. But that's a crucial three points for us now. And that and Grabara's um, <coughs> performance in goal, oh, that, that made up tenfold for the Millwall mistake and the Wigan mistake. And, Jeez, I feel bad for slating him now, but his distribution's still not great. Jesus, can he can he save some good shots? Oh God, but you're a top keeper today. I can't fault him at all. I thought Simpson had a good game coming back. Bakuno were very good. Chilabao were very good. Uh, Hogg did well in keeping them organised. Chroma did a shift when he come on. Kachunga were decent. Mounier. Mounier was a, well, the man of match for me today. Won near enough every ball in the air. Got the goal and he were clearing all the corners when we had to defend. So, yeah. Praise to Mounier today. Man of the match for me. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. Oh, I'm out of breath. Jesus Christ, I need to, need to stop eating. But, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.